Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today's workout, we are doing our seated dumbbell workout. Our format, we are going to be using the timer. So we're gonna have 30 seconds of work with 10 seconds rest in between each movement. And we're going through all of our movements just one time. We will start with our seated warm up just to get everything nice and warm, get the blood pumping, getting us ready and those muscles ready to add the dumbbells to it. All right, so you'll need that chair, sturdy, comfortable chair, dumbbells of your choice or just do range of motion and have your water close by. Once you get everything, I'll meet you right back here. We'll go ahead and get started. Welcome back. We're ready to get started with our seated dumbbell workout. Like I said, we're going to start with a nice warm up before we pick up those weights. So let's just start with a nice march and everything moving. Get the blood pumping, get the muscles engaged. Keep our legs marching. Big, deep inhale. If it's available, arms go up and around. Exhale, release them down. We'll do that one more time up and around. Release them down. Extensions go to the front. So just extending, lengthening out. Get movement through the knee joint, lengthen through the quadricep, pressing from the chest, pulling back from the upper back. Keep your abdominals pulled in tight. Keep your length in your spine. One more each side. Just march a little bit. We're just gonna alternate opening out to the side. So open out to right and left. Right, left. Open together. Again, abdominals tight. Stay nice and tall and proud in your chair. Lengthen the spine, keep your shoulders relaxed. Two more each side. One more. And just march it out a little bit more. One more big deep inhale and exhale. And then we'll go ahead and stop those feet. I'm going to start the timer and then pick up dumbbells. So 10 seconds, then we'll get into our 30 seconds of work. All right. So 10 seconds, picking up the dumbbells. Our first movement we're doing, we're focusing on our upper back with our back pulls. Feet are planted, chest forward, arms long. Squeeze up, release. Squeeze through your shoulder blades, release out. <sighs> Exhale on your exertion. When you're lifting those weights, muscles doing the most work. Good job, up nice and tall. Arms are gonna stay down by our side. Palms are gonna face towards the front. We're gonna alternate bicep curls. So keep the elbows nice and close. Curl up right, curl up left. We're not swinging the weight. So we don't want the elbow to jut forward. It stays right by our side. So our bicep front of the arm does the work. Shoulders stay relaxed and down. Core stays pulled in tight, nice and tall. Good job. We'll finish off so we're even. Left side, good job. Bringing our dumbbells onto our thighs. Focusing just on our right side. Single knee raise, nice and tall. Focus on the quadricep. So right in the center of that thigh, Imagine a string is lifting the foot up off the ground. So lower abdominals and hip flexor are secondaries. They're going to be working, but I want you to really focus on engaging your quadricep. Big muscle, lifting that foot up. Good job. Sure we have our good posture and form, same thing. Left side, so imagine that string right in the center of the thigh, lifts the foot up, release. Quadricep engages. Good 
Your foot can release down. You can keep it hovering to keep the quadricep muscle engaged the entire time or just tap those toes down barely. Exhale, inhale. Good job, sit up nice and tall. Next movement, just alternate. So marching our legs, keeping the weights where they are, alternating right and left coming up. So right and left. You wanna fatigue those quadriceps. Right and left. Good job, keep your core tight. Good job, back to upper body, back of the arm, our triceps. So weights are by our side, chest goes forward. Bring the elbows nice and high, now keep them there. Alternate, extend back right, come in, extend left, release in. Think about lengthening through the tricep muscle, the back of the arm. Slow, controlled movements. Again, we're not swinging the weight behind us. Elbows not going up and down. It's being held in place. Good job, up nice and tall. Relax those shoulders down. We're gonna alternate our side raises next. Weights down by our side, slight bend in the elbow joint. Right goes out to the side, gently release it. Left, gently release no higher than shoulder level. So I don't wanna hyperextend through the shoulder. Stay nice and lifted. Again, the shoulders stay relaxed. Think about leading from the shoulder muscle, the rest of the arm follows behind. So you shouldn't feel anything through the elbow joint when you're doing those movements. Back to lower body, dumbbells back onto our thighs. Right side, doing the work, opening to the side, coming back to center. Open out to the side, come center. So really getting into our outer thigh and hip and strengthening into our gluteals. Inner thigh and groin when we bring that foot back to center. Of course, those abdominals are working. They're always working. Open and together. Good job, nice and tall. Same thing, yes, left side. <laughs> nice and tall, again, really focusing on the outer thigh, hip and gluteals when that foot goes out to our side and then inner thigh and groin when we bring it back to center. Slow controlled focus movements. No swing in, open, together, open, together. Good job, nice and tall. Let's alternate now. Right opens, comes back center, then left. Right side, together. Left side, together. Right, together, left, together. And really getting into lower body, strengthening through the hips and gluteals. <clears throat> Very important. Good job. Let's go back to upper body rotator cuff. So palms face up, elbows glued to the side of the body. We keep those elbows glued in. Open the hands, weights, forearms out. Come center. Exhale, inhale. Stay nice, open, and proud through the chest. Good 
Good job. Place those weights onto the thighs again, back to lower body. Lengthen out through the right leg. So we'll just do right side, then left side with this one. So heel is down, picking the foot up, bringing it back, tap your toes. <clears throat> so lengthen, bend, tap. Lengthen, pick up, bend, tap. Getting through the quadricep, getting a little into the back of our leg, our hamstring when we pull back. Hard area to reach, hamstrings and gluteals when we're seated. So we're getting to them today. Lengthen, tap back, good job. Nice and tall, finding our good posture and form again. Let's do that same thing on left side. So heel is out in front of us on the ground, picking the foot up, bend, tap back, lengthen, tap heel. Lengthen, pull back, tap toes, tap heel. Again, we're doing slow controlled movements, really engaging through the muscles as we use our dumbbells. Good job. Feet next to one another, keeping those dumbbells on the thighs. I want you to put a little bit of pressure onto them. Keep your core tight. We're just going to lift our heels up off the ground. Release. So squeeze the calf muscles. Release. Squeeze calf muscles. Release. <clears throat> Excuse me. Strengthening through the lower part of the leg, the calves into our ankles and feet. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Good job. We're releasing one of our dumbbells down to the ground. We won't need it anymore. Two hands, one dumbbell. Lengthen out in front, slight bend in the elbow joints, lifting the weight for our front raise, releasing it down. And no higher than shoulder level or your gaze. It comes up. Release. Good job. Good job releasing back into our chair now. So we're scooched to the front. So release back into the chair. Dumbbells right at chest level. We're going to press it straight out in front of us. Release it back in. So those chest presses, front of the body working. Press from the chest, release from the chest. Good job. Keeping the dumbbell nice and close to the body, feet walk out slightly, focusing on our abdominals right in the center of the belly. That imaginary string is going to lead us. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale, release us back. Entire body working now. We're hitting our core, starting with the front abdominal wall. Good job. Good job. Staying nice and tall, keeping the dumbbell out in front of us. Feet walk in slightly so we have our legs down at 90 degrees. We're going to twist side to side. So your gaze is right in the center of your dumbbell. Twist over right, through center, twist left. So now we're getting sides of the waist, those obliques touching a little bit into strengthening of our lower back and getting that range of motion in the spine. Good job. Dumbbell comes nice and close to the body now. Feet are planted, our front bends. So putting that focus into our lower back now. Remember part of our core. So chest forward with an inhale. Exhale, lower back leads us nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale up. 
Inhale, chest forward. Exhale up nice and tall. Good job. Good job. You can release that dumbbell down as well. I'm going to stop our timer. Great time. Grab some water if you would like to. Let's do some stretches to stretch out the entire body that we just worked so well. Nice and tall. Twist and open to our right side. Nice deep inhales. Deep exhales. And through center, other side. Twist and open. Bring the body back to center. Hands either go to the sides of the chair. We walk them up or interlace behind the back and open through the shoulders and chest. You want to feel your shoulder blades squeezing together on the upper back as you melt in through the front body. Releasing chest and shoulders. And then we'll release that. Bring our hands onto our lap. Hollow out the belly. Arch and stretch your spine now. So we're opening up the shoulder blades. Entire back body releasing each individual vertebrae down the spine into your lower back. We're breathing into it. And we sit back up nice and tall with our neutral spine. Bringing our right arm across the body and pulling it across with the left. So remember, it's not at the neck. Bring it across the chest and then pull it across. You should feel a nice stretch through your shoulder and your upper back. Kind of wiggle those fingers around too after holding onto those dumbbells. Good for the fingers. We're just gonna open and close the arms for three, two. Last one, left arm goes across the body. Hug it across with the right and then just wiggle those fingers a little bit, feeling that nice stretch through our shoulder and upper back and into our fingers and forearms and then just release that down bringing that right leg out slight bend in the knee hinging forward bringing that length out and down so we're getting a nice stretch through the calf hamstring gluteals into your lower back Roll it up nice and slow. Once you're sitting tall, right foot comes up, circling that foot around, so stretching through the ankle joint, opening our toes and our shoe. Reverse it, go the other way around. Next stretch, we really want to get into the hip, gluteal, and inner thigh. So if it's available to you, right ankle goes over left quadricep. If that is not available for any reason, tight hips, back, bad knee, then just cross at the ankles, chest forward, length stays in the spine. Otherwise, we're here, chest forward. Should feel a nice, good stretch again. Hip gluteal on right side into lower back, that inner thigh and groin. And up nice and tall. Release right foot down, lengthen out through left, slight bend in the knee. Length goes out and down and breathe. All the way down back of the leg through gluteals into your lower back we roll it up nice and slow once you're sitting tall bring the left foot up circling through the ankle opening up those toes and reverse it go the other way around again whatever is available to you on this side and what feels best if you can bring the ankle up and over right quadricep do so and then chest forward otherwise you're crossing at ankles releasing forward do what feels best for you one side may be tighter than the other one side may be able to do it and the other can't that's okay this is my tight side so it really have to breathe into it <laughs> Getting that gluteal hip inner thigh groin released Up nice and tall, releasing left foot down, opening both the feet a little more than shoulder distance apart. Let the hands release down towards the floor and breathe into that nice lower body and back stretch. If hands don't reach the floor, bring them onto the thighs and allow the chest to release. 
Roll up nice and slow. Once you're sitting tall, heel toe those feet back to center, arms down by our side, shoulder shrugs. Inhale, squeeze them up. Exhale, press, release. Two more. One more. Circle the shoulders to the front as we open through the upper back. Last one. And reverse it. Bring those circles to the back, opening through the shoulders and chest. One more time. Release the shoulder blades down the spine. Now keep them there. Hands onto your lap. Turn your head. Look over your right shoulder. And through left. Back center. Right ear releases towards your right shoulder. Allow your chin to roll through chest center, then get your left ear over to your left shoulder. Chin rolls back to chest center, holding it there, staying nice and tall, not leaning forward. Now bring your gaze up towards the sky, gently releasing the head back, not leaning back in the chair, not adding force or pressure as you open through the chest and front of the neck. Head comes back to center, arms down by our side, little shake, three deep inhales and exhales. Big deep inhale, length up overhead. Exhale, release it out two more times. Big deep inhale and exhale. One more, big deep inhale, length up overhead. Exhale, release it all out because you just did an amazing job completing your seated dumbbell workout. I am so proud of you and I look forward to our next fun workout together.